Hi guys, today uh, we are at Jotoma and this is the wedding place. Tomorrow is my cousin's wedding and so they are preparing and we have a rehearsal. Okay, so who are these people? They are all my cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how are you? Beautiful weddings may look effortlessly stunning, but for every little wedding day, the preparation goes a long way and the people behind the scene puts it all together for the great day. So today, we will give you a glimpse of a random behind the scene activities in making a Naga wedding a success. Naga weddings are elaborate and special emphasis is always given to food and beautification of the venue. And one cannot deny that Nagas are extremely creative and has a good aesthetic sense inherent in them all. And I believe the beautiful landscapes of nature, the clear blue skies, the misty mountains, and the gorgeous sunsets must have influenced them without a doubt. It's January. And it's the time of the year where weddings and most other gatherings takes place. Winter weddings are preferred because a wedding feast involves a large number of pigs, cows and mithun and food has longer shelf life in cold season. In Naga culture, mithun has a ceremonial, socio-economic and cultural significance and is well respected. And for the Angamis, a wedding feast is not complete without modi, which consists of pork, beef, and often with mithun meat, which is valued and loved much. Making modi goes through a tedious process and often involves the whole community, beginning with bringing the mithuns from the jungle, which at least takes a week or even more. But the Nagas known for living and loving a community life makes it easy and fun to work as a community wherein the people learn and displace social values and learn different skills which goes a long way in helping the younger generations to be rooted to their culture. <laughs> the women folk also contributes in preparing for the day meal. They get up early, fetch water and cook so that the co-workers will be fed well. <laughs>
On the eve of the big day, one last advice from the uncle on how to wear an angami shawl, a lesson to be remembered. Hope you have enjoyed this vlog. See you in the next video. Bye.